tivemos uma missão para ir buscar outro, os outros colegas. Andávamos Our mission viaturas. was to go looking for some comrades. We were in four vehicles. Mine was the second. The first passed, and my tank set off an anti-tank mine. The flames and the sand hit me right in the eyes, and I have never seen anything again. No light, nothing. Now I don't know what the sun is like. I feel the heat of the sun, but I can't see it. Now I don't have days or nights, but darkness forever. The city of Huambo is home to Bomba Alta, one of the many centers for victims of landmines. It gets an average of 14 patients a week. We have a shelter, a place for inpatients. They spend between three and four weeks here. That is, if they adapt well, and the specialists think they're ready to leave with a prosthesis. After rehabilitation, all free of charge, they take their prosthesis, they're given a little money, and they return to their place of origin. Then I got frightened and asked the nurses to turn on the light. The nurses told me they couldn't, that the light was already on. Then my spirit came back. Ah, that's right, I stepped on a mine. And I started to cry. José Sayobo is an example. In fact, he showed and continues to show the entire world that disabled people are useful. All of the processes for handicapped landmine victims are made in Bomba Alta. Most of the crutches used in medical centers all over the country are also made in its workshops. At that time, people thought that a person without sight, a blind person, had no future before them. Our trainer appeared, and that was the first time he asked me to take part in a sport for the disabled. I looked at him and thought, that man's crazy, a blind man running? when I can't even walk by myself. On the 1st of August, we went to the Greek Paralympic Games in Athens. The day of the competition, not even I thought there would be surprises. There were some great athletes there. But I beat my first record in the 100 meters and won the gold medal. Later in the 200 meters, I won gold again. In the 400 meters, I set a new record. I never thought I'd get to the Olympic Games. And it was the first time that an athlete had beaten four records in a single game. When I climbed the podium to receive the medal, as I heard our national anthem, I remembered the moment when I lost my sight. There, with all those people around me, filling the stadium and shouting, Angola, Angola. The important thing is to forget the war, and I think that war will not come to our country again. From now on, we must only think about studying, working, and sports.